A local lawmaker wants to ban homeless encampments near certain areas. It would prohibit encampments near schools, parks, libraries, and daycare centers. It's an issue that's made headlines recently after a shooting at an encampment in Chula Vista put a nearby elementary school into lockdown. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joins us live from Escondido, where this proposal was just announced here. Dana Marie? Well, I'm standing in Grape Day Park in Escondido. It used to be a local hotspot for a homeless encampment, but it has since been cleaned up. Now, Senator Jones says that he hopes parks and areas across San Diego can do the same. One of the things that we're hearing from law enforcement and local elected officials is that Sacramento, the state, has taken away many of their tools that they've had in the past to compassionately clear these encampments. So we're going to start with sensitive community areas such as schools, parks, daycare centers, libraries, and give the local enforcement officers a tool that they can come in and clear the encampments. Now, Senator Jones, who's introducing that bill, says we're currently living in a public health and safety crisis. One of the requirements in the bill that especially stands out is law enforcement must give at least a 72 hour notice before clearing people out. They also must provide information about sleeping alternatives, mental health services, and homeless shelters. Now, you do may remember back in August, around 75 people were forced out of Harborside Park in Chula Vista. Social services were there that morning to help people with their next step. The city of Tula Vista does not have a homeless shelter, but the East County Transitional Living Center was there to assist. I actually spoke to their CEO this morning about how they were able to provide resources to those who had to be cleared out of the park that day. We had our outreach team there that, you know, just uh, has our brochures and kind of interviews people that are interested in finding permanent support housing, treatment, long term treatment. And uh, that particular day, there were two families and, uh, and a single female that needed housing and wanted to join our program, and we were able to get them in that same day. Well, that was Michael Branch, again, the CEO of the East County Transitional Living Center. He says that day in Chula Vista was an example of how this bill could really work across San Diego. Now, Senator Jones is expected to uh, introduce this in the next legislative session in December. Of course, we'll keep you updated on all of this. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Escondido.